ejaculate inside of them. That's how you make babies. You don't know, smear come into their mouth while they're sleeping. It doesn't work. Ooh. What? Nothing. Are we... Are we live, man? We are. What's that? Episode number 37, is it? I don't never remember. Well, well, well. I fucking remember. Episode number 37. G'day, everyone. How you bloody going? Hey, let's just start by saying... (laughs) Top fucking 10. (laughs) Top fucking 10. (laughs) Listener's Choice Award. Uh, Fucking, fucking hell. Thanks, everyone who voted. We We actually got like, we're like, oh, fuck, we might win this. But then we realized as well... Um... Imagine what 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 snippet? Because all of the winners um, from the podcast awards, they all played a snippet of their podcast, what, didn't they, Matthew? They did. I was thinking to myself. I, I thought, what what the f- if we win? What are they going to play? I, I thought that. <laughs> I was thinking that while I was watching, and then we didn't win, so it doesn't matter. But um, I thought dream. it would just be a, a kind of like a compilation of us just laughing nonstop. Apparently, like the, the they were like fucking middle aged judges. Like yeah, women. all the judges are, are a bit older. But um, imagine them look, watching might, one of your listening. squirties. They could. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. I, I can't see us ever winning anything like that. Even if we do get the most votes, I'll probably just try and sort of. Forget Forget about it, but it would They'd make a good election. It would make it good to to enter every year, just so someone would have to watch something of ours. Yeah, that's it'd be, it, that'd make me oh, feel good. I'd so love, we'll be back. Just fun. the idea of those old middle aged judges seeing you spread your ass cheeks and fart on me. But very good achievement. Uh, second season top ten listeners choice award of the Australian Podcast Awards. Not fucking bad. All right, it's not too bloody bad. I messaged him. I said, "Hey, where did we come? Where did we come in the top 10?" No reply. Seen it, no reply. Like just fucking tell us where we came. We didn't I, make top 3. I've got a vision of the future. You guys are going to host those awards one day. I'd decline it. Okay. Yeah, no way. I have declined it. Just they then. asked him. I asked him the next day. <laughs> Yeah, I declined it then. Um, social media is pretty funny. Yeah, fuck me. Yeah, we're still bloody got a reach restriction. Um, we've got our second backup page now, which is um, up to a level where it's where it's all right. So we support us, University of Mark. Yeah, we got on a, Facebook, or you can go to our website. Well, the which of this podcast is sponsored by the University of Mark, our subscription website. It's got fucking hundreds, over a hundred videos on there of just us doing fucked up shit. And what did we do today, Michael? I've got a hill on my arm. We are covered in bruises and cuts because we filmed three website videos today. And now we're doing the podcast. Three. We went back to our roots. One of the videos was me taking Michael through our new restaurant. And vortexes just kept fucking smashing into us. I got a cut. cut. The second video was uh, egg dodging. And it was whoever could get hit the most is the winner. Oh. And then we fucking tried, did the Milk Skull Mandarin Throw Challenge. We did it. We re- repeated that one. We've done it before. Fucking part two of that one. It was so scary, dude. So it's been a whole day of just having shit hurled at us at incredible speeds. Incredible speeds by a friend. He doesn't even fucking play sport. He's a fucking teacher. And he can throw harder, harder than any athlete. I've we did a video with professional cricket players. Remember? Did we? Yeah, the apple apple one with fucking oh, what's his fuck. face? Yeah, Bryce. No, no, not Brock. Bernie Sanders. Yeah, Bernie mm. Sanders. Professional and uh, yeah, hundred percent. James gonna throw can throw harder than him. Yeah, fuck me. And he was so accurate. Oh, anyway, I have a hill. Look, have you seen my hill yet, Matt? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, so there's some fucking... We're, we're, we're trying to just pump out as many website videos as we can so we can have a break over the Christmas period. Um, All right, let's fucking... How are the uh, on this days, Ooh, Matt? Before we start, can we see Michael's sunburn? Yeah, oh, yeah. He got oh. really, really fingered. It and has to sit down. <laughs> Michael like, had a, a tough day at the beach. And this is like four days ago, all right? So just bear that in mind when you look at this. <laughs> Because it hasn't healed at all. If anything, it's gotten more purple. Oh. All right, he's standing now. So he's pulling his pants down. Is there a line in <laughs> yeah, It's pretty fucked. For those, who, for those listening on Spotify, it's like it's like it's purple. It's purple. Oh, it's a purple patch legs. of skin. <laughs> his legs are fucked. <laughs> it's nice and cool. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Michael got rice today. You can fucking rice. 
Sunday. <laughs> Sitting down each time kills. Thank you. Um, for this today's episode, fucking we fucked the sentences thing off because it just wasn't working. working, And look at this, we got a fucking stack of packages in our PO box pile. We got fucking questions, a bunch of good questions to answer. I mean, I'm gonna fucking prank call that fucking butcher, being Arnold Fine. He's gonna Arnold Fine. A lot of people have been asking for Arnold. Really? Yeah, Comments? Know, it's fucking- yeah. He's my favorite guy. I'd fuck him. You need to write all these characters <laughs> down, Marty. <laughs> mm, all right. On this day, eh? Mm. On this day, eh? Oh, fuck. Every movement. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, do you have any confessions to make before I start reading them? This is my confession. These are my confessions. Okay. Look, uh, I want some water, please. Oh, fuck it. You keep it. You're going to pour it on me. You want me to get you one? Stop! Uh, he mm, milked me hard today. I, li- I licked it. <laughs> Fucking almond milk. I literally had a coat of milk. So what? It was, I was like fully pale white. <laughs> he looked like he had a white face painted on. Just milk. (laughs) On this day in 1998, Missy Higgins milked herself with pliers. She mashed her nips up pretty bad to get one litre of blood milk. The feat was even more impressive because she wasn't even pregnant or lactating. She sells her own body hair now. On this day in 2016. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Shh. That was pretty good for me. Oh. <laughs> that was. It sounded like a fake fart. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's actually good. Man, someone's going to make a compilation of this like in 10 years time. Yeah. And, we, and we are going to come across as the sickest, oldest <laughs> men. <laughs> Disgusting creatures. Dude, imagine when you're 50 and you're doing squirties on me. <laughs> yeah, what, what will our future children think? Your future children. Yeah, just don't do it when they're around. Marty's going to get to a point where I'll be able to hold it in. It's just all going to fly out. It's just going to be a constant seep fest. Oh, dude. (laughs) It'd be so funny to see a 50-year-old man rip his ass cheeks apart and let it go. (laughs) Oh, On this day in 2000, Chris Hemsworth accidentally built a ship. It was in the middle of Byron Bay and it was actually pretty inconvenient. CCTV footage revealed Hemsworth building like an idiot. He didn't even use tools. He just would squeeze nails into the wood. Honestly, I was pretty shocked when I heard about this. Like, don't build ships in the middle of towns. Fucked up traffic so bad for a few days, man. (laughs) That is good. That is good. In 2016, Roger Federer planted seven of his loads. He would dig a small hole, wank, and flick his semen into the hole and bury it. Unbubble... Unbelievably, five of the seven loads have germinated into necks. Federer now has five necks growing in his backyard, and he said he's not sure how this is even happening. He also went on to say that none of this is true, but trust me, lol, he's definitely got necks growing. I saw them the other day, so yeah, it's definitely a real man. (laughs) Wow. Flicking around. Flicks the cum into the hole. On this day in 2012, Carmen Electra became a flock of exotic birds. That's fair. <laughs> I haven't seen her around for ages. Well, yeah, well, what that explains she do? it, mate. What do you mean, what did she do, Was mate? Was she a porn star, She's mate? fucking told you, cunt. She's fucking a flock of birds, you fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Next segment. Ooh. All right, this is a quick secret time. we got one secret. Oh, we're doing a quick secret, are we? Yeah, I've got one. Hey, guys, we're running out of secrets. Send through some secrets. We need them. All right, this one's from... I had some secrets come through the other day, actually. I might check my phone too, eh? Secret for the podcast. I went on a vacation with my entire family. We went to Turks and Cocos for two weeks and I saw this pretty girl at the bar at the hotel night after night. (laughs) And then one of the nights I approached her and we got some chemistry and had a few drinks and laughs in the next thing. I know I'm with her and her friend in their hotel room, which isn't even at the same hotel my entire family was at. So I'm sitting with these two older ladies, then we, then me, I was 25 at the time. These two ladies are hot cougars. So we drank some Coronas and boom, next thing I knew one of them is sitting on my face and the other is sucking my cock. 
They said they loved young cock. This, uh, so it was all good. Then yeah, we started having sex and I had sex with the first younger looking girl who's actually 52. Boom, she squirts. A little the first time, I kind of like a warning shot. I'm still drinking beer. What the fuck is going on? He hasn't put a full stop at all once. What the fuck is this? Sounds like he rushed it. A little the first time, kind of warning shot and drinking beer. Then boom, she squirts like a squirt gun all over the room. And then I have sex with the other lady. She's 56 and I actually, and actually pretty hot. So I bang her and boom, she squirts even more. By the end, their entire hotel room was moist and we fucked till like 6 a.m. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going back to my hotel room to sleep. Had a room with my cousin who thought I was kidnapped, but I was getting some the walk of I just Dude, what the, this, the, none of that makes does this even make sense no. <laughs> whoever sent that in fuck you next fucking secret <laughs> holy shit and send us ramblings of your fuck stories send us secrets <laughs> like this young man <laughs> yeah, okay weird. so here's a story for you I have a I rolled up to my mate's 30th the other week and everyone was calling our bro Darren definitely Darren I couldn't I couldn't quite figure out why Ka- why Kaz I was in such hysterics about his new gay ass nickname. I didn't think to ask why till he left. Now definitely Darren has a missus of many years. Does this make sense? What Maybe the you- fuck is wrong with these people? <laughs> Send us a fucking sentence. <laughs> a normal constructed sentence. <laughs> The special. Oh. My fuck. Now we have to give him a secret. No, no, no. We have a shout out to give to one of our university fucking members. members. Oh, we love our university members. Now this guy, we just want to fucking, I guess, send some good vibrations his way. The poor fucker. Corey Tremblay. Oh, fuck, should I say his name? Yeah. Corey. Yeah, Corey Tremblay. Dude, we heard the bad news. Yeah, well, fucking, he's, yeah, he's been diagnosed with heart disease. So. You hang in there, Corey, okay? You keep... Read How Not to Die, dude. Trust me, it is reversible. You can reverse heart disease. It's a book. How Not to Die is a book. By Michael... Buble. Buble. Michael Corey. Michael... Corey Brookhouse. Oh, I can't remember his last name. But yeah, just type it in, How Not to Die, and you get that book, dude, and you can reverse it, I promise you. Um, I'm going to leak Michael's address. Thank you. All right, let's move right along, eh? Let's yeah. fucking uh, unless let's read the secrets beforehand next week because um otherwise we'll just be, be reading the ramblings of um madmen. Ma- madmen. Good TV show. Hmm. I've never seen it. Should we continue the segment name changes as well? I feel like my heart's not in it anymore. Sorry, we don't have to. You can just come up with them whenever you want. Next yeah, segment. Man. Maybe yeah. they'll be every If you now get a rage every now and then, maybe you can throw one out. Like an every now and then thing, maybe. Mm. All right. Next segment. Next segment has been renamed. All right. This is questions. We're about to answer some questions. There's some good questions. There's a lot of questions. Yeah, this I, saw, I saw some fucking good questions. Um, JC sent in a question for the podcast. Jesus Christ. Um, what was Debonair Den and what was that all about? But Sorry if this has been asked before. That has been asked before. And that was a um, when we first started making videos, it was with a couple of other guys. And uh, that was... Um, that was our show. That, that was, was the, name the of our fucking show. shit name that was our show. But yeah, that's it's long gone. Long gone, all that shit. Next question is from Donut Films. Oh, God, oh, I love Donuts. Oh, oh. Um, Marty, how many times have you pissed on Michael's face? Um, I don't know if like that's ever five? happened. Oh, okay. Definitely has happened. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. happened. I can think of three right now. Sometimes he, um, when I'm peeing at the urinal, he'll um, kneel next to me and and try and intercept my stream with his tongue, and and I'll get my dick like this, and I'll flick to the side a little bit. So Is that with you or Jackson? Oh, Jackson, <laughs> Jackson probably does it too. But you've done it to me. Is that when we're drunk and real fucked up? Yeah. Of co- well, we're not bloody sober when you're drinking my piss at a bloody <laughs> urinal, mate. <laughs> 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 I actually want to- <laughs> Why is this shit on me? Where did that come from? <laughs> One of my earliest memories of Michael is at a bar and you know, at the piss trough, there's usually people put their glasses there and everyone just pisses in the glasses. So they're just full oh. of piss. 
Mark was having a full-on conversation oh, with me. Man. We're pissing. And then out of nowhere, he just picks up a full piss of random piss, which is probably Whoa. multiple pisses, takes a sip and just gives me a wink oh, and puts it back are you down. Fucking you did, yeah. Me? That was one of my earliest what memories wrong of you. With me? yeah, you're a disgusting pig. I, I don't even remember that. You are you are revolting. Do you understand me? You make me sick. I've Holy seen it. shit. Yeah, Next I- question is from Bree Firth. Oh, I think what was the f- the thought of the first person milking a cow? What were they trying to do? I don't know. Maybe well, they-, they probably just saw the calves sucking them. They were practicing wristies. Mm. And they probably just thought, fuck, I wonder what that, that shit tastes like. Mm, I- yeah. Yeah, because they'd know that their mum produces it. Yeah. So they fucking want to get... It's like you. I'm cow, curious what was coming milk, out. Cow's milk tastes They're a lot better than human milk. I'll tell you that much right now. What about almond Have milk? Have you sculled human milk yet? No, I would never. It, like, imagine being a... Like, you so you would drink piss but not drink breast milk? Yep, I'd fucking drink piss over breast what milk. What about mixed together it's so they sick. curdled? Oh, I, I think me. we need some breast milk in oh. the future. Like, I don't know. It's just- Lucky? Lockie's visiting. The Ma- idea Michael's of old roommate. freaks me out more than piss. Lockie, come really? O- yeah. Come over here, wow. Lockie. Oh, it's just strange. Let me cut a piece of your hair off. Even though it's natural, it's yeah. strange to me. Uh, this is uh, Lockie, everyone. He um, used to live with Michael. I'm just going to cut a little piece of his hair off now. Come, Can you see that on camera, Matt? Yeah. Holy shit, that's the left piece. Whoa. I'm naked now. So I've just gone and cut some of Lockie's hair off. Can I see it? Uh, he, he didn't. Oh, that was a good lock. I'd be upset just with cut, that. Just uh, cut lock of hair off. Thanks, mate. No, it's such a. I oh. like it. All right, next question. Next mate. question is from Olympus <laughs> Top Tens. Oh my God, Michael. <laughs> you look weird. Oh, there's little nits crawling around now. Oh yeah, you got a nit there, dude. Watch out. Remember when um, you guys gave each other nits? Yeah. <laughs> And Lucky had to shave his fucking skull, cunt. That's what happens when you share a bed. He had to shave him. Anyway, next question. Olympus Top 10 says, um, what happened when uh, Jackson and Joey took you guys to Jake Paul's house? Jackson wasn't there. Um, We went with some other dudes. And um, yeah, we just went in there. Jake Paul wasn't there. It's a fucking big house. No. Eh? Oh, there's Lego in the walls. There's like fucking 10 people living there. And it's just, it's like a fucking huge house. It's big. They've got a fucking basement studio. I would say that it's bigger than this house. Uh, yeah. There's a follow-up part to this. He says, was Jake's dad there and was he slamming 21-year-old girls? <laughs> no, nah, Jake's dad wasn't there, but um, there were some other people there, some other influencer people. We had a little chat to them and we said, oh, hey, guys, we're from Australia like that. And they said, oh, no, I've never heard of you. They said that. <laughs> were, we, were we drinking? Yeah. Not at that stage. Yeah, we, we were. After, shortly after that, oh. we got on the bloody bloodies. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> they were having like a party upstairs on the balcony. Not really. They were, I don't think they were, no one was drinking. Though. Oh, really? We, yeah. went, we went to a party after though, bro. Remember that? Yes. Yep, yep. Next question is from It's Cheesy. When is Bosley going to make a guest appearance on the podcast? I don't know how he's, there's no room for him yeah, here. and like yeah. I could lift him up and show him but he'd be like oh I don't know maybe we could start the podcast with him on the table one day and then take him off with the earmuffs he'd fucking on freak out and yeah, knock he, everything mm. off he hates the spotlight he hates it he's yeah, just a he's... medical person in the background he said look at these scissors man I've got them back to front now <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to fuck next question next question is from Tane Thomas if you died tomorrow what would your last wish be to live maybe I, like- I want a gold medal i want a gold medal man or a fucking paddle pop cyclone oh. i've kicked a gold the af for fun now i want a gold medal man we deserve that shit do they get medals for afl yeah i think so they get the big trophy for the, the team the brown low and the norm yeah, smith what's with the brown low brown low and it's the norm so, smith medal so ridiculous i want the brown low and the no- <laughs> like, Nor- norm smith What's the Norm Smith? I haven't heard of that one. It's the it's the best player on the field during the AFL Grand Final. I'll tell you what, I thought we were in for a running there for a, in the first quarter. We had one disposal each and one goal each. Fine. My tummy's rumbling. Uh, yeah, so hungry. Can All right, next question later? is from Isaac Prentice. Um, other than fines. Uh, and court appearances 
has there any been any close calls to one of you both or both of you actually going to jail? Like arrested, arrested, I don't think so. Yeah. When, but there's just- There's been times, dude, where we could have fucking gone away for a long time. Remember? Yeah. That was the shitting scariest fucking day of our lives. Oh, yeah. There's been, there's been yeah, there's moments- been heaps of times. Uh, been really where, we were, where we were not far off. Jail but time. Unfortunately, those those types of stories we'll have to save for for years uh, to come. What for, for the book that yeah. will be out in, in a few years? But there there were some moments where I thought, "Hey, it's all over." <sighs> Remember when I had the cocaine? Oh, dude! Cops pulled us over. Oh man, like it was fucked. Oh, that you had no. Yeah, okay. Fuck. We'll Ma- Michael had a handful of weed, and he just. I was just start- scrunching it up, putting, <laughs> scrunching it into the ground. Onto the fucking floor of the car, just scrunches up. And all Marty the- had shorts on with the pockets didn't even fucking, they had holes in them. So he put his, no, well, we'll I, call yeah, it was- Charlie's medicines in there. And then he, the cop was, if he had asked him to step out, bang, it would have fell straight out. And I was so nervous. I handed my license over to the policeman with two. You minutes. were so, I've never seen you so nervous. Because that was it. If he had a, if we, yeah, anyway. And. Fuck. Like then <laughs> they even asked us, any drugs in the car? And no, they said, is there anything in the car that shouldn't be in there? Yeah. Because the car was flagged. This, this is we're, all, we're, we're bleeding. We're, we're, we're dipping we're into a flicking. much larger story. We cannot, we cannot unravel we're the threat. One day. Uh, Next question is from Az. Um, scientific question. What is the most amount of wanks you've ever had in a day? Oh man, when I was a little teenager, oh, let me tell you one man, oh, I'm not gonna, sometimes Oh, do we remember Batfest? <laughs> <laughs> Batfest in Germany, I don't know, like s- five, six. <laughs> no, I didn't, I'm no, never, I mean, never once we count. had one in Germany, we were done, really. No, what do you, we would go back and back and back. <laughs> we would all be sitting in a room watching fucking German porn and sacking ourselves. <laughs> Everywhere you turn, six men. Fuck, once I'm done, I'm done. I, maybe we were, that, we were that bored. No, I, I guarantee you, man, we, we went over There's and over and do. over and over There's again. nothing to do but to jerk off the porn together in an attic. We weren't like looking at each other. It wasn't weird. Everyone had their dark corner. It wasn't Actually, weird. Look at no, Buddy Bosley watched, staring at me. I watched one of the boys come. Yeah, but the boys, <laughs> we weren't aware of each other. Michael's the only one watching yeah, us come. After he came, I was like... <laughs> and he's like, dude, fuck! This sounds fucking, so mad. This sounds he was really. So mad. Like, we, we, we're not going to explain in full detail. It sounds probably a lot more fucked than what it is. A group of dudes wanking off. I'm together. pretty sure you've told the story. Before. Yeah, we were just. So, there's literally nothing to do in this tiny. It was. Town. It was. We're, we're, we're like we were in our own area each in the lounge room. It was a big <laughs> lounge room, and the lights were off, and we had blankets on. Just watching a bit of fucking. I don't know if we should talk about this. <laughs> Fucking hell, like, we were 20 years old. What do you expect? 20 years old, pissed, drunk in Germany where there's just 24-7 porn on, right? It's like, excuse me. Hey, we're in a town where there's no shops. There's literally the population of 100 people. It's snowing. There's nothing to do. We were stuck there for a week. My grandma was downstairs. (laughs) She was. (laughs) <laughs> and clouds <laughs> the fucking man my grandma was downstairs and we were masturbating <laughs> did you have um the volume up no it was just no, was it on it was, silence it was very late at night it was was it any volume a little bit i don't know i, I can't yeah. remember that's weird <laughs> that was no volume one of our mates particularly was like i will not stand for this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait did it the most <laughs> no I cut that cut up <laughs> or blur his name blur his name uh, beep his name actually um, he did not yeah he was like I cannot I'm not fucking taking this and he went into the only it makes it sound even more was. weird it makes it sound more weird that one of us realised how weird it was you, you're hanging it's out with your bun- mates uh, it's just a bit of bun- uh. it's and just fucking it's, bun- it's, with it's the not boys. as bad as you think it, I guess like because we all had our dark corners apart from me I, I sort of pushed the line when I sort of crept up on that one mate but I just wanted to freak him out. And I freaked him out. Ooh. If some friends milk cows, some friends milk each other. I didn't... Yeah, we didn't <laughs> do it to each other. We didn't help each other. You tried to have sex with one of our friends. <laughs> Imagine that. Michael tried to have sex with one of our friends. <laughs> and that's when it got weird. And we haven't spoken about that since. But you came on to... <laughs> you came on to <laughs> another one of our friends called... 
and you cut tried his to have name, sex with Connor. Him. I didn't come on to him. You tried to have sex with him. I just wanted Don't to lie. Be, I whispered in his ear after he finished to freak him out. And oh my god. Anyway, that might not be that true. That story. Out. Yeah. Next question. Fifty-fifty. Next question is from Justin Ryan. Binger. Um, <laughs> what's the funniest memory you have together? I'm pretty sure you just said it. No, that wouldn't nah. be the funniest. No. Nah. Um. Fuck. What's made me laugh the most? Uh, probably um, that time at Down Under Bar when you um, remember when when you first started talking to <laughs> again and the first night cut that came, name please. Uh, when you first started, okay, bleep that name. When you first started talking to that girl that you were seeing for a little while, yeah, and you were sc- kept screaming at her whenever she would talk to you. Really, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Were they? I can't scream anymore. Were they decent screams? Yeah, you were just shaking and screaming. And oh, she kept yeah. saying, why you, are you doing that? You love that shit. Yeah. I liked... Oh, there's been many with Marty. There was this one time we are walking home, and I think I've said this before, but it was these chicks yelling out to us. <laughs> and Marty just sort of comes up, wields this big stick around his fucking head, just goes, I'm a wizard, you whore. <laughs> and fuck, it was just really well said. Good timing to what she said. It and the so way many. he moved his body was beautiful. We should make a list for a, for the next week's podcast. We should make a list of these because there's so many. We're we? going to forget this shit. And like, I, I can't remember primary school anymore. I can't even remember the High school is going to be gone. Day. You should have started your podcast. Then early 20s school. is going to be gone. Then late 20s. Then 30s. When I'm 60, I'll have Alzheimer's. Like, yeah, but at least in your morning? 30s, you'll have this to review. Yeah, true. It's like a this is like a little entry. diary entry every time. Well, I can so see us listening to all of these later. And just being like, yeah. And thinking, saying, fuck, man, we were the sickest counts, eh? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, next question is from Leaf. Are you going to have Jackson back on the podcast again? Maybe the final episode? Yeah, maybe we'll get fucking Jack on for the fucking final. Eh? He's sticking around for a little bit longer now. He was going to go fucking fuck off back to fucking. He's fucking sticking around now, so I'm fucking get him on. Uh, next question is from Brief Firth again. Second question of the night. Um, do either of you have any conspiracy theories that you believe? Probably a big list. Oh, Michael could fucking go on for bloody bloody, but <laughs> I don't really... Um, we won't get into him, eh? Yeah, we'll be here all day. But uh, me... Um, conspiracies oh i don't know because i don't know what's real and what's not anymore so i've just chosen to stick my head in the sand and just and just watch funny videos and just try and make funny videos that's all i spend my energy on now michael next question (laughs) um is from sabrina matira matira um i'm curious what does a normal working day look like for you guys uh we wake up we go to the gym then we go and have breakfast um, and plan the day of usually filming out. Mondays is admin day where we're just fucking sitting down in Michael's lounge room, just on our computers, being office boys. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we film our fucking tits off. Tuesday nights, we do the podcast. And yeah, we just organize videos and then we go and film the videos. And that process is just repeated over and over again until about fucking 5 p.m. And then we go home and rest our weary bodies and scrub all yeah, the dirt out tonight. of our wounds. Yeah, God, I reckon there's glass in here. Do it all again. Next question is great. Um, is from Defy underscore you. Um, if you could change the sound of your fart, what would it be? <laughs> I'd go a um a gunshot, so it would scare the fuck out of everyone. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Mine! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. I reckon yours would be like it'd be nice if yours sounded like a um, a goat or screaming a, or a flirtatious giggle. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> oh that would be sick <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm so hungry <laughs> um, right, is it, next question is from um, another Brie is there any meet and greets in the pipeline in the future with fans um yeah yep well, we're not we're like we're not drinking and shit now so it's like it's a bit like what would we do what would we do with fans just sit, sit in a circle with a fucking tambourine mat have is a that bit what of, you want have a bit of tea yeah it's fucking sit in a circle and we go around and say something about e- ourselves is that what you want yeah right? we all meet at new farm park done <laughs> in december in brisbane we're doing a meet and greet 
New Farm Park. To thank our fans. What um, what happened last time? Something fucked. Oh, we the the first meeting. That's the <laughs> night we did it. And that much MD. Remember, I I said I'm never doing MD in public again. Yeah, you were just you were asking. Michael was so munted that he was asking me where the small dumbbells were in a bar we were at. That's <laughs> what our meet and greets are like, guys. Yeah, that's what they have. That's what they were. But so we don't know what to do now. We can yeah. just hang out and well, well, fucking guess- play the tambourine. Yeah, and plus it's like it's scary because like how embarrassing if no one shows up. Like last time was a bit embarrassing. The fuck, all people came, but it was just scattered throughout the day. So it was yeah, fucking thank fuck the end of the night. They didn't see me in that state. So if you live in Brisbane and you would come to a meet and greet, comment on this podcast so we can get an idea. Because if there's lots of people, fuck it, we'll do a meet and greet. We'll go play bowling. Exactly, we'll go play bowling with everyone. Hire out the bowling. Hire out the bowling alley. Last question: Would you would either of you ever enter politics? If you did, what would your policies be? Uh, oh, fuck, man, it's too hard. My policy would just be to fucking be a fucking mad cunt, and anything that didn't align with that, I'd fucking wouldn't do it, cunt. Stunt men would have no tax to pay. Man, I would like how fucking that we'd be. I'd be the sickest fucking politician, cunt. <laughs> 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 fuck you, cunt! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, cunt! <laughs> 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 Dropping me fucking holding around the fucking streets, can <laughs> How many chickens would it take to kill a lion from Bree? Yeah. Oh fuck. How did I miss that. Maybe like you 50? need a thousand more. And they'd all have aggressive, to be- well trained well, fighting. I'll tell chickens. you what, you need roosters, and you've come to the right guy. Um, do chickens, do roosters taste like chickens? Yeah, of course. Have you ever been to Red Rooster? Yeah, true. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, why weren't you guys invited to Shami's boat party? Uh, we were, but um, since we're not drinking and shit, we decided, oh, we better not go. Would be too tempted. Be too tempted. But yeah, it looked like a lot of fun, and. Um, in the future, I'm sure we'll be fucking those 50 year old cunts. Like, fucking. Doing you'll, you'll be fucking blind in one eye, cunt. And I'll be in a fucking wheelchair, like, deaf and blind and shit, man. You'll be blind too, but. And we'll be, like, fucking going nuts and shit. I'll be a politician. Oh, fuck me. All right, is that the end of question time? Do you guys know Sassy, the Sasquatch from the Big Les show? Yeah. Guys, watch the Big Les show. What are you talking about? Very good. Um. Anyway, yeah, next segment, eh? <laughs> what is it? Well, I'll have a look at this, mate. Yes, I'm excited. All right, the next segment is the PR unboxing segment. <laughs> and let me tell you, we got some bloody boxes here. Big fat pink bitch. Let's get the, the small one done first. No, you want to do both or do you want yeah. to save it for next week? Yes. There's some German written on here. I'll attempt to read it, but just remember, I was only three when I left, so my reading at three wasn't the best. It says Vorsicht, which means be careful. Look at this. Sehr brechlich, which means it's, it's fragile. Um, it's from Nikki, uh, one of our regular commenters. Oh, Nikki, it came. Thank you so much. All right, so this is fucking fragile. So let's see what it is. Oh, someone sent something fucked. Oi, Marty, just put it on its side. Oh, dude. Oh, so it's on its flat. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. What have you got there, Mark? Is that also from Nikki? No, no, it's for a separate person. Do I read their name? Oh, this is from Jono Wallace. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> you, I don't know what was that. He's fucking packaged this up big time. It could I be think drugs then. I have a feeling, dude, no. we have just been sent. No, please be Valiums or something that we can consume immediately. Oh, I got scared. I thought it was a snake for some reason. <laughs> Just be careful. All right, we're opening up. What is it? What is it, Michael? Explain to the people on Spotify what the is fuck you've got mushrooms? there. Is it a piece of shit? Oh, no, is it? No, we would have smelt it by oh, now. Oh, wow. That's easy to Michael, huh? We got sent gremlins. Oh, oh wow, little gremlins. Actually, I did hear that someone was going to send us some little figurines for the, um, for the go on top of the letters. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, to go on top of the ladder. We'll huh? definitely chuck them on next week. Ooh, if anyone you. doesn't know, Gremlins is a movie. Thank you, Jono. Hey, Jono, thanks so for the beautiful. Gremlins, man. That, we put them straight in our Gremlin collection. Thank you so much, uh, John, for the Gremlins, mate. Fucking hell, he's got heaps of them. 
One's like got a this, dude. Oh my fucking god! We'll add them um, to the uh, podcast. I just had a peek into this box, and there is some good shit. Read the letter first. Let's save the best for last. This is like Christmas. There are so many Whoa! gifts in here, and lollies. And this is like out of all my kinder food. Oh, it's not even so. It melted. Dear sweet use, here are some gifts and inspiration for experiments or pranks. You can see below which is for Marty, which is for Michael, and which is for you both. Please, please feel free to share the unwrapped candy with your brothers, Connor and Matt, and with your sister, Julia. I hope <laughs> nothing melted or broke. Hugs from Germany. Huge hugs from Germany. Nicole, P.S. You don't have to read the letter inside in the podcast. It might be too long for the podcast, but please read it in general. No, of course we're going to read it on the bloody podcast. Holy shit. Look, okay, so, and she's got a little, little uh, what do you call it, a legend here. So that's this wrapping's for Michael. This Whoa. wrapping's for both, and this one's for Martin. The live with the little kittens on it. Mine are bigger. <laughs> I, Mine are bigger. Uh, thank you so much, Nicky, Nicole. Nicky. Look, we got treats. What do you... All right. Fuck All right, yes. so, so she sent us a massive box. Michael's just pulled out some treats. We got gummy bears. We got fucking chocolates. A little chocolate, huh? A little chocolate. Um, there's, should we open the ones for the, us both first? Okay. What's this? Should we open this? Oh, hang on. Let's just get all the lollies should out. Should we do Holy this first? This shit, note? Man. That's the letter. Look I at thinking. all the lollies. Look at all the fucking lollies. Oh, my God. It's like a box of fucking lollies. And chocolate. And they're all German, too. Oh, yeah, this, is a, this is a big letter. Um, dear Marty and Michael, brother. I admit the package is a little bit big, but I wanted funny and nice stuff in it. And of course, watching your videos and podcasts are quite inspirational. Hmm. Long story short, I found a video of you during the hardest time of my life, questioning everything and having nothing possible or fun to hold on to you were the ones that made me laugh for the first time in a long time ever since you are the daily reason to at least laugh once i'm really lucky to have awesome friends that supported me all the time but with you i can forget about everything for a few minutes i do enjoy watching s stuff from jackson fallon woody and Kleine, and used to enjoy Shami's videos for some times but no one of them can make me laugh like you you two are just different you engage with your fans much more and i appreciate that and you are just being yourselves you seem to be your true yous all the time you are crazy you laugh out from your hearts you show it when you're sad or worried you can dish and take it and you can laugh about yourselves and you seem so much more down to earth and grounded that's true we are we are very down to earth and grounded thank you on all the social network platforms are of course some some idiots now and then who cry about the website or the content please never forget that your fans love you and embrace everything you do so guys thank you your impact on people's lives is bigger than you think keep on doing exactly what you do love yous love nicole from germany i don't hate jews i hate all people just the same <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell nicole you're a fucking legend we love you too nikki thank, thank, thank you, you nikki so that was it's so like, beautiful this is like fucking christmas Oh, dude, I've been hacking into these. This is like fucking Christmas. This makes the gremlins, I'm sorry, look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> the gremlins are shit. <laughs> oh, what have I got here? Oh. <laughs> the gremlins is shit. So here I have some Zana Zana Mumus, which means cream mumus in German, and they look like delicious creamy little, little lollies. So that one's for Marnie. It's got cows on it. I'll enjoy them after a cow fuck. Ooh. All right, you want to start opening yours, McLean? Yeah, I just want to save them for Christmas. Yeah, I want to save them too. I want to save them too, don't I? Hey? Is this fun, Matt? Watching us open gifts. Oh, I got a letter. Oh, I've got something fragile here. I've got something fragile. Oh, shit. I forgot about Fucking the fragile Fucking Nicole. Thing. She's really put a lot of time and effort Holy into this. Holy shit. In case Marty sets your cigarettes on fire or something, cigarettes give you cancer, though. So please stop smoking. Yes, okay. exactly. They do give you cancer, man. Remember? Maybe these are cigarettes. Remember that cancer you got? Oh. Oh. All right, we're still un opening some gifts. Oh, um, Ooh. oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Oh, wow. God. Do you know what this is, Matt? 
Is that to hold? Um, it's to hold cream and milk. Oh, I was gonna say for your coffees. There, yeah. For your coffees, it's got a little. It's a cow. It's a it's ceramic a dairy cow. So it's a ceramic cow, and you use it to. It's a little pouring cow like that. God, this is hard. Thank nice. you very much, Nicole. I don't know whether to leave it here on the podcast. Yeah, leave it on the podcast. That's we'll we'll make it part of the uh, setup. Wow. Are you struggling with opening yours? No, not at all. Mine was very easy to oh, open. Okay. Pardon? Ooh. Like that? Yeah. Should I do the same with this as Can well? Can you read the German? Just throw that on straight on the ground, eh? Look at that. Bit of art. And throw that on the fucking ground. It's not my house. Oh. A Nord file. Scheibe einschlagen. A Nord file. Scheibe einschlagen. What's that mean? It means hello, I love you. Oh. No, it means in an emergency, smash the glass. And it's got a cigarette framed in a little frame. And That's fucking awesome. A lighter and a little wow. hammer to break the glass. So only in emergencies, okay? Hey! <laughs> only smoke that in emergencies. Promise me. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Tickle his nose. Wow. <laughs> that is a cool gift. I'm going to try beautiful. one of these um, cream cows. Oh, we can add that to the podcast that. too, yeah. Is this? Is wow, this we've got some cool shit now. Mm, our collection is growing. I want more, daddy. Thanks to everyone who voted, eh? Hey? Thanks so much, everyone. Michael. Okay. This is for both of us. I'm hungry. I'm getting into this chocolate mm. now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Many Germans speak English pretty well. Most Germans, including me, think it is very funny to translate German sayings into English word by word. I, worked down the, I wrote down the German sayings on pink, the word by word translation in green, the actual meaning in blue. Mm. Hope you can enjoy and maybe use it as much as I can. Literally, from German to English and English to German sometimes is fucking weird because Germans have, like, it just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just fucking weird. Ich glaube, ich spinne means I think, I think I'm kidding, right? That's what it means. But it literally, because spinne means, also means spider. Isn't that strange? <laughs> eh? We're all learning, aren't we? Yes. We're all learning. So I think I spider, it translates into. Anyway, let's read a few of these each week. I like. Yeah, that. I was saying we could make a segment for a while out of that. This is going to become a segment. Could, uh, could either leave it for the new season, or we could. Um, Nicole, I'm leaving these here, and we're going to read one every fucking week. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm. That is Thank such you. a good idea. Dude, there are still more gifts. Oh, this, <clears throat> I think this shirt is big enough for two of us, darling. Oh, there's oh. two head holes. We're going to fucking try it on. <laughs> Dude. All right, give us a second. We're going to try this on. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Hey, don't finger me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to be able to sit down? I hope so, baby. You have to bring the chairs a bit. Hey, fingering me. No, I'm not, Michael. So you gotta bring your chair close. I don't know if you can. People listening on Spotify, hang on, let me get my fucking headphones on. How do I do this? My cock's out. Oh, do you want me to? So Nicole has sent us a shirt that fits over two people, and pants with two people. So now we're wearing that. So if you're listening on Spotify, go to the YouTube channel and see it. It's pretty funny, eh? Oh, I can't wait to do video with it. <laughs> this will be good for video. Mm, yeah, we're going to use this for a video, Nicole. Thank uh, I'm going to put this uh, outside now. Yeah, that's outside. Fucking hell, what a PO box today. Hot. Look at this shit, man. You got a lot of treats. Fuck me, mate, eh? <laughs> I guess it's time to fucking ruin some butcher's fucking day, is it? <laughs> uh, hello, my name is uh, Arnold Fine. I uh, called maybe two two weeks ago. You uh, Is this... Uh, uh, no, you're not talking to me, mate. So who is it? Uh, Arnold Fine. Uh, uh, who, who are you after, buddy? Uh, are they, uh, anyone in charge of uh, looking after... Um, uh, the yeah, he's, he's not here at the moment. Yeah, yeah, you take message, huh? Okay, what's the regards to? Uh, I called uh, a few weeks ago. He uh, he told me, oh, maybe uh, maybe I buy um, your pick from me. He said that to me. Uh, I called back uh, two weeks ago. He say uh, he have a friend butcher who interested in uh, maybe buying my pig. I, a small pig farmer, North Brisbane. You see, uh, write that down, uh, North Brisbane. And uh, he say. Farmer. 
Where's my far? Yeah. North Brisbane. T- Whereabouts, mate? Just North Lakes. Up in North Lakes. Down near- North Lakes? Yeah, up, up near North Lakes. We have two acre. Two acre. Little farm. Just a little farm. Not many pig, but they're, they're all big, fresh, plump. Are you, are you all registered and everything? Yeah, so uh, coming along. It's coming along. It's in the mail, and um, it's 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 all coming along. But uh, look, uh, look, he's saying we actually had uh, multiple butchers that have been ringing us, warning warning us about a dodgy pig farmer. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, we had a butcher in um, North Brisbane ringing us and warning us about a dodgy pig farmer. Oh, man. Yeah, no, apparently, I don't, I'm not saying it's you, but apparently he was really dirty and. Uh, they, they just warned us to be careful, so... Uh, mm. Oh, sometimes I, I think maybe your story wrong way around, my friend. Because uh, I talk I talk to a butcher, he said to me, uh, bring your pig in. I bring my pig in, and he, I bring my pig in, and he, uh, he, say, he say to me, get out my store, like that. He talked to me like that in front of customers. Where very that? Uh, in Trampside, uh, down in Trampside. I took uh, one of my pigs to the butcher there, and uh, he, uh, he, hello, hello, I don't look Where at him. Do you have your pigs... Um um, uh, process, mate. Uh, not, I do all the processing. I do everything for you. I, Are you um, licensed to process? Uh, it's all, it all still working. I, I sort almost. it all. Don't worry almost. about yeah, that. Are you licensed with the, with almost. the um, health department? I've, I've only uh, come to Brisbane recently, so I'm not registered so you, yet. You're not licensed? Almost. But I have the, uh, look, I have the pig. You sell the pig, yes? So I give you pig. Mate, if you're not licensed, I don't think you should be ringing butchers, and certainly not this shop. Very special price, huh? I give you a very special price. You I write that down. A special price if you're not registered, you're not licensed, and you're doing a dodgy. Okay, you, you, you write that week. down. That is a special price. I'm and, not uh, interested in a special price. I'm interested okay, in, in people doing the right thing week. by the public, and if what you're doing isn't registered, you're a risk to the community. Okay, okay, look, listen, huh? I bring pig in. I bring pig in. You see for yourself. Yeah, it's a healthy pig. pig. Mate, if you're Oh and come on! Oh. Bring here again, right? oh come on! You talk all the police? That's crazy, Mark. I bring pig in. Huh? I bring pig in. I... Yes, we have to bring the pig in. <laughs> <laughs> we have to bring the. We have to bring a pig in. I <laughs> 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 think that he's fucking Ooh. crazy, man. Hey. Eh? Oh my god. Do we? Do we <sighs> like? Go in there, visit him, tell him uh, it was a prank call, and just give him a shout out or something. Yeah, maybe we go in with uh, a, stuffed, on a, story. a stuffed pig. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, <laughs> and just say thank you for being such a good sport about it. Like, and, <laughs> what if and he's get a photo a- what and if he's put him in story. And, and has a butcher's knife or something. Then, then we that's run. Even better footage. That's even better footage. <laughs> that was. Fu- I love that guy, man. Arnold Fine is such a fine man. He's and then we change. Then we yeah. change what he's has, trying to sell has, after has, that. Has strong values. Yeah, he's fucking. Uh, he's a good dude. Uh, and he's just trying to support his family. Like they've just moved, and he's just trying to find a way to support them. The pigs he has is the only asset. I reckon he's definitely. He's like from East Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know yet. He is a mixture. He's gone from Russian to German. Yeah, it's right. He says he's Russian, but he has a German accent or some shit. <laughs> he's so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> can't see me on bonbon geben, bitte. Oh, that's these. Ah, can't see me on bonbon geben. Oh, this this open bonbon ham. We've got so much German food to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's oh, 523, five, so we need to wrap. All right, we're, we're the best. 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 Thank you, Nikki. Fucking-